You've worked hard to perfect your music. You've spent time getting the artwork ready. Everything is sent to the distributor. The hard work is over, right? Wrong! Did you know that the best artist promo period is between six weeks and up to six months per release? Typically though, activating the promotion about two weeks before the release day and continuing the push with creative content for at least another four weeks after. For example, viral internet breaking artist Lil Nas X shared over 150 pieces of content in the first seven days of his album release. This was everything from viral TikTok trends to self-deprecating tweets. He even made good use of troll comments by turning those into reaction videos. Any opportunity he got to create content, he did, using the media, trolls and fans as a catalyst for new content on the fly alongside his pre-planned stuff. With good planning, you can get creative with lots of different types of content to keep your campaign running for weeks after the release. Of course, you'd need a whole team to produce that much content, right? So what should an independent musician do? If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rebecca smart and I work with the music industry to help master promotional content and develop brands online. Don't forget to subscribe now if you want me to help you think creatively around your music marketing. So while working with many signed and independent artists one-to-one -one over the years, I've had the opportunity to analyze, develop, and execute content strategies in the music business with great success. During this time, I've developed an all-purpose content calendar, a six-week release campaign calendar to be specific, because the best approach is to spread your releases out through the year and create campaign-specific content each time. So in this video, I will walk you through how you can use a content calendar to develop content ideas into action. Using content that not only promotes your release, but also creates awareness, drives action, and grows your fan base. You'll learn how to take control of your content strategy and learn how to turn your music release into entertaining, engaging content that also promotes your releases. We're going to use TikTok videos, Instagram reels, and stories as the main source of content. Then, repurposing this to other channels such as Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Are you ready to break out of the disappointing cycle of flopped release momentum and invest in video content to take your music viral? Well, if this sounds like you, you're in good hands. So let's get started. So, the calendar is a Google Sheet document which is basically a web-based Excel spreadsheet that can be used by multiple people at the same time, which makes it perfect for collaborative work with others. The document is broken down into different tabs, as you can see on the bottom of the screen. We're gonna go through each tab in more detail through the different chapters of this video. But the home tab is the branding exercise, where you'll break down your music release into content categories, which will give the suggested content ideas a theme that you can customize to suit your own style and genre. All right, moving on to the second tab, I've listed a bunch of cool tools and resources that'll help you in creating the content and some other helpful stuff too. Then we have a list of trending video ideas that gets updated weekly so you can easily jump on the latest TikTok trends that have been curated specifically for musicians. These trends come and go pretty fast and if you jump on them quick enough, you'll get some good reach from TikTok. And then we have the six week content planning tabs. Here's where it gets fun. So each of these tabs is broken down into seven days and you can browse the main content ideas I've compiled to get an inspiration for promo content. You'll also see that I've included three daily stories ideas to keep your followers engaged and informed throughout the day. There's also handy checkboxes here for keeping track of repurposing your posts to other channels. Scroll to the end columns here and you'll find an area for you to plan out captions, call to actions, tags, and any story tools that you wanna use. Like for example, if you're posting a story with your release date announcement, you should make a note to include a countdown sticker. Trust me, these small details are very often forgotten about. And finally, you'll find the comments area where I've included further details on suggestions on optimizing content. So this is all suggestive. The idea is to use this document as an inspiration, but make it your own. You can get your own copy of my content calendar by tapping the link in the description of this video or go to smartmusicagency.com. So how do you turn your music release into niche content categories? You should know that your content needs a purpose and it also needs a target audience. 
It needs to communicate a purpose to the target audience. And it needs to be entertaining, or at least catch people's attention so they stop mindlessly scrolling for a few seconds to spend time on your content. Remember, the more time people spend on your content, the harder the algorithm will push your content to more people within your niches. So how do we do this? How on earth do you create niche content for niche audiences who might enjoy what you do? Well, here's where my branding exercise will save the day. Yay! Welcome to my brain. All right, so let's use Lei as an example. She's one of my Smart Club members, and she's been making waves on the scenes ever since she joined us. If you want to join us, master your content, and brand yourself with my guidance, check out the link in the description below. So Lei is a house music DJ who lives in Toronto, and she produced a record called Purple Haze. She came up with the idea for the song while looking out the window of her apartment. Across the street was a weed coffee shop called Purple Haze, and it had a queue of people eagerly waiting to enter. It kind of reminded her of Alice in Wonderland on a magical journey into the rabbit hole. You see, I wrote three or four short sentences about Lei, the idea and the message behind her release, and what it made her think of when she was creating the track. From this, you can see I've extracted some keywords. So these keywords will form the base starting point for her niche content. Here you see the keywords also help you create some handy hashtags too. We could also use these to create niche hashtags that'll help you to reach your niche audiences. Simply adding the word meme to your keywords gives a good place to start experimenting. Always do your research and look up these hashtags to make sure there's a large enough use of that particular hashtag before you feature them in your post. Anything that has over 10,000 posts per hashtag is best. So, we have the keywords for the content categories. How do we create content using them? So once you've identified your categories, it makes the process of creating content a lot easier. So when browsing through the hashtags on Instagram and TikTok, Related to your niche categories, you should start begin saving some content that you'd like to recreate, reproduce, or remix. The more, the merrier here. You can never have enough inspiration. Trust me on that. So using Lay's keywords, house music, DJ, Toronto, weed, purple haze, and Alice in Wonderland, we have the foundations to begin creating some niche promotional content. We took inspiration from Alice in Wonderland and thought it would be great to make a meme using her as the character. I then went on to YouTube to search for some Alice in Wonderland clips when I discovered the clip of the movie's Cheshire Cats smoking. Perfect! That fits into the weed keyword too. Weed smokers are a massive community online and they could also have lots of potential fans of her house music. Yep. Another keyword. So we thought it's best to tap into the weed community by making this Alice in Wonderland clip into a weed meme. Then posting the meme as a TikTok or an Instagram reel, but making sure to use her release as the audio. Lei then did some research and followed lots of weed meme accounts. She contacted each of them and asked if they'd post her meme and make sure they attach her song as the audio too. This strategy appealed to the weed community and the meme was shared far and wide. Meanwhile, her song is being heard all around the world on repeat. Earworm, activated. The hashtag related to festivals, weed, electronic music, and DJs are all very active, which provides good opportunities to get non-followers checking out the content as well. When you create content using your categories, you'll find that secondary categories appear naturally that you can use to develop your main categories further for optimal reach. In this example, it's festival goers, party people, ravers. So you need to write three or four short sentences about you, the release idea, message, and what it made you think of. Extract keywords that will have some sort of online community presence or mass interests. Use those keywords to create memes, recreate trending TikTok videos in your niche, and explore what other people are creating within that niche as well. Okay, so how to plan and batch your music release content. So you've broken down your release into categories. Now it's time to plan out your content. I strongly recommend that you batch record your content. This means having your videos planned, scripted, and then you can schedule or draft the content ready to post each day. Using the calendar to keep track of when you're posting, 
you work backwards and prepare the content in advance. What I suggest is that you take time to look through the 50 plus content ideas that I've included in the calendar. Each content idea has been curated because it has a good hook to keep people watching, it entertains and it's optimized for virality. Start a new document and begin remixing the ideas to include your niche or niches we discovered in the previous chapter of this video. When you're recreating TikTok trends, it's easy enough to literally copy the examples but customize it so it meets your niche requirements. So dedicate a chunk of time to create as many scripts as you can in one setting. Then later begin bulk recording the videos. Again, I find it effective to get a full week's content recorded in advance. If I'm feeling extra productive, I'll sometimes manage two weeks worth. You'll need to edit your clips, add text on screen, and create captions as well. So use the calendar to keep notes and track what and where that you're posting. Then all you need to do is hit publish when the time comes. Much easier than scrambling every day to create, edit, optimize, and post last minute content that hasn't really been properly thought through. Same goes for your stories. Anything that can be planned in advance should be created and saved in advance so you can easily share content daily. All right, so there you have it. That's how you plan, create, and promote your music release like a professional. Everything I've listed today should be used alongside your usual content strategy. Test, experiment, and analyze how well your content performs. Recreate more of the things that people enjoy, and don't be disheartened if you don't get good results right away. Content marketing is a long-term investment with high returns when done consistently and correctly. At Smart Music Agency, we can plan and organize your release campaign. We create your story strategy and assist with optimizing your video content. If you'd like more information, make sure you check out my website, smartmusicagency.com. You can also download the content calendar template to do it yourself too. Thanks so much and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the best content marketing advice for musicians.